let us discuss this example so in this example we have to solve a double integration where the region is a trapezoid whose vertices are 0 0 1 0 1 2 and 0 1 so first of all we will draw that trapezoid we will find out the region after that we will solve the double integration the first vertex is 0 0 so i can show here 0 0 next is 1 comma 0 so it is here next 1 comma 2 so on x axis 1 y axis 2 so the point will be here 1 comma 2 next 0 comma 1 it is on y axis so 0 comma 1 so i'm going to join these four vertices so we will have the trapezoid in this way okay so this is a rough sketch of trapezoid so i will uh, call it as o this is a this is b and this is c so let us find equations of all these lines okay so equation oa this is a part of y axis so that's why its equation will be x is equal to zero so consider bc now so it is a line which is parallel to y axis passes through x is equal to one so that's why equation of this line is x is equal to one so segment oc so it is a part of x axis so that's why its equation will be y is equal to zero so ab is a line okay which passes through 0 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 so we have to find the equation of line ab so consider equation of ab is so we have a formula okay so if you have any line which passes through given two points we can easily find its equation using formula y minus y1 upon y1 minus y2 is equal to x minus x1 upon x1 minus x2 okay so we will consider this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 so let us put these values here so y minus 1 upon 1 minus 2 and x minus 0 upon 0 minus 1 let us simplify y minus 1 upon minus 1 is equal to x upon minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 will get cancelled and we will have y is equal to x plus 1 so this is the equation of this line a b so y is equal to x plus 1 okay so i will show it here this is region of integration okay uh, so let me draw it properly so this is region of integration so you know that when we have region of integration after that what we do we consider a strip either parallel to x axis or y axis okay so here it is better to consider a strip parallel to y axis so i'm going to write so consider a strip consider a strip parallel to parallel to y axis okay i will show it in a diagram now so i am considering a strip parallel to y axis so it will be like this okay so this is a strip parallel to y axis so after that what will i do uh, then we write then y varies from y varies from we write y is equal to 2 y is equal to and then we write x varies from x varies from x is equal to to x is equal to so you know our funda we consider bounded below bounded above left to right so strip is bounded below by x axis so its equation is y is equal to zero so i should write zero here bounded below after that we consider bounded above so strip is bounded above by this line so i should mention here when we consider bounded below and above we should consider curves and when we consider left to right that time we have to consider each and every point so that's why we will go up to the last point okay see so here uh, bo bounded below by y is equal to 0 bounded above by this line whose equation is y is equal to x plus 1 so i should mention here x plus 1 next we have to move this strip from left to right so in left hand side it will go up to this line and it will stop since region will be over there so here value of x is 0 and in right hand side strip will go up to this line whose equation is x is equal to y so in this way we got limits of x and y okay so let us consider these limits and we will solve the double integration make a screenshot of it after that we will go further so i have considered those limits here so let us solve this double integration so our strip was parallel to y axis so inner integration with respect to y and outer integration with respect to x let us consider inner integral first so integration 0 to 1 
it is with respect to y so all functions of x are constant here so let we can take them outside so this 1 plus x we can take outside 1 plus x that means simply we have to integrate uh, sin y only so integration of sin y is minus cos y so it will be minus cos y 0 to x plus 1 dx see this minus 1 is a constant we can take it outside so i'm taking it outside minus integration 0 to 1 1 plus x let us put upper limit so we'll have cos i'm putting upper limit x plus 1 minus i'm putting lower limit 0 if i put cos 0 is 1 you know so this is 1 dx okay you, we can solve the bracket so this is equal to minus integration 0 to 1 1 plus x cos x plus 1 minus 1 plus x dx Okay, we can take separate separate integration. So this is equal to minus integration 0 to 1, 1 plus x cos x plus 1. See this minus, but there is already minus sign outside. So minus minus plus 0 to 1, 1 plus x dx. Okay, so here is a product of two functions. So let us see how to integrate it. We have very simple formula. Integration uv is equal to uv1 minus u dash v2 my plus u double dash v3 the technique is very simple we have u and v we take derivatives of u and we take integrations of v so what is u and what is v here so there is one uh, formula l i a t e to select our u and v so polynomial function so yeah I, I should mention here l i a t e l means logarithmic functions i means inverse trigonometric a means algebraic or polynomial t means trigonometric a means exponential so 1 plus x it's a polynomial that means algebraic function a this is trigonometric function a comes before t that means our choice is correct this 1 plus x should be before cos 1 plus x so this is our u and this is our v so let us apply this method to find a value of this integration I'm writing that minus sign outside so our technique says we should copy u as it is that means 1 plus x as it is okay v1 that means integration of cos you know that integration of cos is sine only so sine 1 plus x okay minus sign after minus sign is zero u dash it's derivative derivative of 1 is 0 derivative of x is 1 so we get 1 only v2 v2 means double integration of v we have already one integration sine 1 plus x if you integrate one more time it will be minus cos 1 plus x so minus minus plus cos 1 plus x after that u double dash double derivative of u see derivative of u we have got one if you take one more derivative we will have zero and when we get zero we stop our process there so i will terminate this process here okay having limits 0 to 1 so let us continue plus 1 okay plus 1 a 1 that means integration of 1 integration of 1 is x plus integration of x is x square by 2 having limits 0 to 1 so simply we have to put limits so let us simplify i am putting 1 x is equal to 1 2 sine 2 plus cos 2, since I am putting x is equal to 1 minus I will put x is equal to 0 so this is 0 1 plus 0 1 sine 1 okay sine 1 there is minus sign outside so sign will get changed cos 1 okay so yes we got this one after that I will put upper limit lower limit here so here if I put 1 1 plus yes so it will be plus 1 plus 1 by 2 that means 3 by 2 minus 0 let me remove this one it is not required now so we'll have more space to solve this problem okay just a minute let us continue so there is minus sign outside you can easily see so because of that sign, minus sign all sign will get changed so we'll have minus 2 sin 2 minus cos 2 minus minus plus sin 1 plus cos 1 plus 3 by 2 so this is a required answer Make a screenshot of it. After that, we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.